In this video, we are going to be covering the McCabe Thiel method with a column with multiple seeds. The problem is D18 out of the textbook out of chapter 4 and reads as follows. A stripping column with two feeds is separating acetone and ethanol at one atmosphere. Feed F1 is a saturated liquid and is fed into the top of the column with no condenser. Flow rate of F1 is 100 kmoles per hour and the feed is 6 mol percent acetone. Feed F2 is 40 mol percent acetone and is a two-phase feed that is 80% vapor. And the flow rate is 80 kilomoles per hour. Bottoms is 4 mol percent acetone and the column has a partial reboil rate. The problem asks us to calculate the minimum boil-up ratio. And part B asks if the boil-up ratio is 1.5, find your distillate flow rate and the distillate composition the optimum C stage of F2, and the total number of stages. Step off your stages from the bottom upward. So starting with our diagram, we'll have our feed F1 coming down into our column. This is a stripping column, so there will be no condenser. We'll have our partial reboiler. There'll be no condenser and some feed F2 that is coming within a stage of the column. Starting with our feeds, we have feed one. This is our saturated liquid vapor and we'll, we'll therefore have a Q of one. So the slope of this line will be given as Q over Q minus one. So one over one minus one, which will give you an undefined slope. Your second feed is 80% vapor. And your Q will therefore be 0 0.2, since it is dependent only on the liquid flow rate. So your slope for this will be Q over Q minus 1. And you'll get a slope of negative 0 0.25. The equation for this feed line will be given as Y equals Q over Q minus 1 X plus your feed over Q minus 1. After these feed equations are found, we can move to the graph. Plotting these feeds, we'll have our feed 1 at a fraction of 0 0.6 and is an undefined slope, so it'll go straight up. Feed 2 is at 0 0.4 and will intersect the y-axis at 0 0.5. And will look like that. We have a bottoms composition of about 0 0.4 and will be about there. So your minimum boil up ratio is dependent on your maximum L over V ratio. And just in the same way with a normal distillation column, how say this line would define your, your L over V minimum, in the same way this pinch point will denote your L over V max. So this pinch point gives us a point at about 0 0.2 and a point at about 0 0.44. So we can find that the L over V max is just the slope of this line over here. And you'll find that this gives you an L over V max of about 2. So from this relationship, you can find that V bar over B minimum, and this will give you a minimum boil up ratio of about one. For part B, we are given a boil up ratio of 1.5. From the same mass balance up above, you can solve for your L over V ratio. You'll find that your L bar over V bar ratio is about 1.67. Finding your L bar flow rate will be equal to the liquid stream from feed one coming down plus 
uh, 20% of the feed to stream coming down. Your, your V bar ratio can be found just from the L over V ratio you found before. We can then find the bottom's flow rate as just L bar over minus V bar. Your distillate flow rate can just be found by V bar plus 80% of feed two. And finally, you can find your composition with the mass balance around the entire system. In solving for YD, you'll find that the composition of acetone equals 0 0.68. To find our optimum number of feed stages, we will need a bottoms operating line, which is given by plugging in all these values, you'll get an operating line that is equal to 1.76x minus 0 0.027. Moving back to our graph, we can start plotting our operating equation. Let me remind ourselves that our operating equation is this. So if we were to plug in one point, I'm just going to call at a point 0 0.3, we'll find that our y is equal to 0 0.474. So that corresponds to a point right at about and we can draw and connect our line. And then we can clean it up just a tad. You will stop stepping off your stages when your distillate rate intersects your feed one stage, which was right about here. The intersecting operating line is simply just the line connecting these two graphs. And from here, we can begin stepping off our stages. So starting from your bottoms composition, you'll just go up and over, and this will indicate one stage. And then you can repeat this process with each subsequent stage until you reach your distillate composition at 0 0.68. After all these stages are stepped off, you find that you have eight equilibrium stages. As, as far as finding the optimum feed stage location, you find that uh, your second feed is intersecting just at about stage four. So your optimum feed stage will be right here at about stage four. That is how to do the McCabe's helium method with multiple feeds. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.